Hello and welcome to Bankers Trust. Today I have with me Mr. Pratip Chaudhary, Chairman of nation's largest lender, State Bank of India. Welcome to the show, Mr. Chaudhary. Thank you very much, Tamal. Good to see you. On 6th April, government notified your appointment late evening. You are in Delhi. I think you rushed to Parliament Street uh, to formally take over. At that time, what was uh, on the top of your mind? Is it, is it uh, how to build bridges with the regulator or how to clean up the balance sheet? No, it was a bit of uncertainty that was getting clear because four of us had been interviewed. So I thought, you know, that the clarity is there. So mm. now been appointed. So, but it was too late in the evening. So the thought process started only next day morning. Okay. <laughs> Tell us, at the earnings conference in Calcutta, um, you use the word, the, the term clean up, I think six times, you know, at the press conference as well as the analyst conference. Now, there are two parts in your balance sheet. One is, of course, uh, the, the pension liability which the bank did not provide for. And the other part is, um, you know, some of the other provision which you could have done, should have done, you did not do, like, uh, uh, like teaser loans, etc. Right. So, first you tell me, is there too much of dirt in the balance sheet? Why did you use the word, uh, the term clean up so many times? And what else is there to clean up? With regard to delinquencies, I think we are adequately provided and whatever came up in the last quarter, normally there is a bulge in last quarter. So, I would not fault anybody for that. That is an annual trend. Mm -hmm. But the additional provision that was made was totally 1600 crores, 500 crores for teaser loans or terrace loans, whatever you call, and 1100 crores for trying to reach the 70 percent PCR provision coverage ratio prescription that yes. RBI had given. So, these are not against delinquent assets, okay. but these are against certain benchmark the regulator has stipulated. You all along resisted, right? Regulators wanted the bank to do certain things, the bank did not do. Even for say this uh, pension provisioning, suddenly out of the blue, close to 8000 crore you have to provide it for. But if I am not mistaken, in the first quarter of 2011 itself, you actually reverse 1800 crore provisioning on account of pension. So, I mean, what was happening in the bank? Your, your auditors did not raise any objection to this kind of things. Is there any corporate governance issue at the board level? Uh, not exactly. It is not fair to blame the auditors for this. Mm -hmm. Now, all along, even in the quarter ending December, the auditors were very insistent that this 500 crores amounting to 2 percent or 25,000 crores should be provided for. But you did not do No, it. but uh, they were persuaded in that meeting, even the RBI DG was present. So, in that meeting, the auditors were persuaded to believe that we are still working with RBI. Now, if RBI tomorrow, because we had three months to work on, gives a more benign stance, takes a more benign stance, then possibly it would be out of the way. But once you make a provision, you can't reverse. So, please give us an opportunity to persuade RBI to this point of view. What about the huge pension liability? Oh, right. So, that is the another thing that is little difficult to explain. No, nobody has been hit with a pension liability of this magnitude. Right. Now, you can see the last quarter profits are down to 25 crores. Yeah. So, it is not by choice that we had to dip into the reserves. Mm -hmm. But 8000 crore is the number that is coming from the actuaries and there is no money at least the current profitability does not mm -hmm. allow. One way would have been to debit it to the current profits, then this year current profits would have been 0. Your and EPS would have been affected. And the quarter EPS would have been impacted and the quarter would have been a absolute bloodbath. Right. Now, we went to RBI, we said that in order not to do that, because that distorts all ratios, will allow us to draw down from our reserves. Mm. So, they agreed to that. Now, what it means in perspective, Tamal, is that we made a profit of 8200 crores, we drew out of reserves of almost of equal amount. That means, we did not add anything to our book value. So, at best 2011 is a lost year. But it could have been done at least partially. You could with have hindsight, done. I think you can say that. Yeah. But it is true that in the first quarter of 2011, because when we knew that the wage revision agreements were going on, we did provide for a possible hike in the salary. And when we are negotiating for salary, you also know that you have to give a hike in pension. Hmm. And we have been writing to the government that please allow us to hike the pension. 
Now, it is a bit contradictory that one hand you are taking up with the government that you allow us a hike in the pension. On the other hand, you do not want to make sure where is the money. Thank you, Thank you for your candidness, uh, Mr. Chaudhary. Tell us this, even this drawing down from reserves uh, in the fourth quarter, was it an afterthought? I, I, I got to know that I heard that you actually last moment you decided on this. So, there is a second PLNL account you uh, worked on it overnight. Is that correct? See, I came, I took over charge on 7th April and in hmm. SBI, it is a collective decision. Hmm. Made number of trips to RBI okay. and now we found that the operating profit or the net profit is not large enough to support a provision of this magnitude. Right. So, we said let us make a one time exception and dip into the reserves, but make a bold declaration and a bold disclosure. So, that it is not hidden under the carpet and it is not done quietly. Correct. So, we wanted it to, to be uh, done in a very explicit manner. Because you did not do it, investors wealth has been eroded by 25,000 crore, no? after 10, I think 10 trading days after you announce your results. And you said that once for all, I mean there would not be anything else beyond that. Uh, is that true? Because there is some segment of the market believes that, you know there is some problem, it may not be entirely you are transparent as far as your NPAs are concerned. I am told that you know this it can it can be done manually you are you have different codes 1, 2, 3 and it could be changed and in the process you may end up showing a little less NPA than you should have. Is that is there any truth in this kind of uh, notions? Uh, I will answer investors? your question in two parts. The first part yes, but the erosion of 25,000 crores is not only due to the SBI results the market themselves have retraced from about 19,500 levels to about 18,200 level mm. as we No, but your now. stock has underperformed both Sensex and Bankex. So. Uh, yes, in the last three months. Yes, last three months, that is uh, right. Mm. But then it was necessary. See, investors also know that business is not uniform. You have a good year, you have a bad year, and there are e regular challenges, there are normal challenges in the banking business in terms of delinquency. So, we tried to lay bare that what all has led to this, but they again Tamil I assure you the additional provisioning is not so much due to deterioration in the asset quality, but even if the asset quality is 100 percent standard you need to make additional provisions and to some extent this year just to make a comparison the interest rate environment was slightly against us. So, on the bond portfolio, we made a profit of 920 crores as against 2100 crore last year. So, maybe many things combined, but of all of them, I think this pension liability is the hardest to explain. It has been deteriorated uh, to some extent from 3.05, it has gone up to 3.25 and about 15 percent of your restructured assets has you know has turned bad. Few analysts expect it to go up to 30 percent. This had happened when economy is growing at 8.5, 9 percent. Now, there is economy also is the growth in economy also is slowing. Uh, what is your take? What is your call on the uh, quality of assets in this current fiscal? We keep our eyes fixed on the net NPA number which is 1.63. Now, the thing is that this number is less than one for most nationalized banks and even our associates. So, over the last five years at least when we have been tracking, state bank has been behind the industry curve. Now, regarding what happens to the restructured assets, these most of these restructured assets are covered by a security. So, they are cash poor, but asset rich and I think when the good times are there, investors and the companies think that they will be able to pay back the loan is 5 years or 6 years. But now when the downturn happen, that loan may be paid back not in 5 or 6 years, but 8 to 9 years. But where the underlying security is strong and cash flows are coming back, I think we would not see much more deterioration in the asset quality. But what you say in terms of slowing down the growth impact? That is something we need to assess carefully because it has a multiplier effect.